We're following up on last week's announcement of a quarter million dollar settlement between the state and Rivers Casino. It comes after claims involving underage people in the casino. A local lawmaker is putting in her two cents and the casino speaking out as well. 10 on your side's Chris Horn brings us up to date on this story. Rivers says it is committed to the straight and narrow when it comes to rules and regulations. Meanwhile, one of the casino's champions says she'll continue to fight in support of it. When you look at the casino, that was my bill. You could call her the Portsmouth pugilist, but State Senator Louise Lucas is not as ready to rumble when it comes to the Rivers Casino. Well, am I going to beat up on them? No. Rivers opened less than four months ago. The casino was agreed to pay the Virginia Lottery Board $275,000 and skip a formal administrative hearing on allegations involving underage gambling, slots licensing, and unauthorized games. As part of the settlement, Rivers admits no wrongdoing. Lucas says she has spoken with casino management about taking corrective action. And they are doing just that. In every industry, there are missteps. Everybody knows it. I'm not going to allow anybody to clobber River Casinos over the head because they might have made a few missteps. They're working on fixing it. River's spokesperson Kelly Webb gave us this statement in response to the settlement. We take these matters very seriously and respect the decision of the Virginia Lottery Board. We cooperated fully and share the VLB's commitment to compliance and regulatory vigilance. That River spokesperson told me that that $275,000 payment has already been made. And the official policy for Rivers Casino? Carding and verifying the age of everyone who enters the casino gaming floor. In Portsmouth, Chris Horn, 10 in your side.